Good day. Today we present to you our supercapacitor powered torch. This is for the design course at Brooklyn University. My name is Darian Singh. I'm Daniel Barras. And I'm Yannick Smith. So this is just an overview of the presentation today. So we're going to start with device specifications, move on to design overview, we'll discuss final outcomes, and then show the results. So the specifications we were given is that the capacitor must charge in under two minutes. It must have two levels of brightness, 50% and 100%, and it must operate for at least three minutes. All right, just our goals for success criteria on a personal level, we'd like a robust, reliable solution, compact and runs with no external power sources. So this is our design, the overview of our design. So there's a supercapacitor supplying the entire discharging circuit. The bootstrap switches on the microprocessor, which switches on the boost converter, supplying the microprocessor in phasing out the bootstrap completely. And the boost converter also supplies the LED output. So here we have our lock converter, it's running off 15 volt supply, so the timer and the buck are not the same supply. This is a non-configured uh, conventional configuration, it is a low side configuration, just so that we have minimal interference at our gate source. So our timer circuit uh, provides a 15% or 16% duty cycle at 450 hertz, and this charging indicator basically tells us when the cap has reached 2.4 volts, telling us that this could. Here we are on the discharge side. This is the multivibrator portion of the bootstrap, and this, this supplies a bipolar output for the multiplier. Okay, this multiplier supplies enough voltage when rectified to the microprocessor. Here we have the Mega 168, which is embedded, and this guy provides adaptive duty cycle via the PWM input based on the ADC input voltage from the supercapacitor. So here's our boost converter circuit. It takes the voltage from a capacitor and boosts it to 5 volts to supply the Atmega via the PWM from the Atmega. Okay, here's our 300 farad supercapacitor. Here's the multivibrator. Here's the multiplier, our capacitor to power our micro, 168 over there. Here's our boost converter over there. Here's the inductor, our little MOSFET, that's our basically capacitor bank. And uh, yeah, this is how it switches on. Alright, and here's a switch to change brightness. So over here we have our supply from the bench top. Here we have our buck converter, our MOSFET connected to a heatsink. Over here we have our 555 timer circuit which outputs PWM to the MOSFET and over here a little comparator circuit uh, that lights up the charging indicator for when the capacity is 2.4 volts.